you guys. Sorry I didn't get to do the video I wanted to Saturday or Sunday. I got really busy as you can tell my hair is a mess and I'm trying to get this video done as fast as I can but I'm going to keep meaning into it. So, so the first person I met was Brayden Berry and without tearing up I want to explain why it meant so much to me. It meant a lot to me because he was, well is, one of my important idols. It was him, my big sister, and Jason V1I. And when I met my sister, I was like, oh, one idol down, never gonna meet any again. Well, I started listening to Say We Can Fly every time I was bullied, and I just fell in love with Brayden. And when I met him, all those emotions of, wow, he does care. He does really love people, and how honored it was to finally meet him. It was awkward at first because after watching him for so long on YouTube, Snapchat, and watching his videos, it didn't seem real to me. I would always look at it and I was like, wow, I'm seriously meeting him. I was scared to say anything to him. Like, we were in the line and I slowly crapped up. I was like, Brayden, oh my god, oh my god. My big sister's just smiling, watching me fangirl, and the closer I got to him, the more shy I got. I didn't know what to say, I didn't know what to do. So his merch guy was like, here's a CD, $10. So I was like, I want that, I want a poster. So I'm grabbing all the merch. I got my shirt, I got everything I wanted. And I walked up to him. I didn't know what to say. I was like, will you please sign this? And he signed everything. I thanked him. And then I was like, can I take a picture with you? He's like, yeah. So we took a picture. And I wasn't expecting him to like hug me when we did it. And he gave me a hug and patted my back during the picture. And then after the picture... He hugged me again and said thank you for supporting me and then left. And that meant a lot to me. The second person I met was Brian Stars. I've been watching him for so long and what I didn't realize was how tall he was. When I met him in person, I literally felt short because of how short I was to him. But it was cool. I didn't, I was scared to say something to him so when I walked up he was like, hey cool share, I was like thanks. We talked a little bit, and then I hugged him, he hugged me, we took the selfie, and then I moved on to Johnny. Johnny, when I met, it was kind of funny because we talked a little bit, it was like, hey, you're cool, I like you. He's like, I like you too. I was like, yay. And then I went to take a picture with him, and he wasn't looking, he looked down. So in one of my pictures that I'll insert in the video, he's kind of like this, hugging me, and it looks adorable. And then he's like, oh, you want to take a picture? I was like, yes, please. So, like, we take another one, and we just both laugh. But I really like him because on days that I would be sad, I would just watch YouTube, and his channel popped up. And meeting him was awesome. Then I met Damon. When I met Damon, it was a little awkward because he seemed a little bit busy. Like, he wasn't focused because I was like, hi, Damon. He's like, hey, I was like, nice hair. He's like, thanks. And then he kind of would look off at all the people. I was like, can I take a picture? He's like, sure. So we took a picture together, and I felt weird. I was like, thanks for being rad. And he smiled, and I walked away. And then I met Jordan Sweeto, who I absolutely love him. He's funny and amazing and a great YouTuber. And when I met him, it was funny. I commented on his hat. He said, thank you. I asked him where to get one, and um, a fan gave him his, but there's some on a site. And I thanked him. I was like... You're cool, and then I told him he had a big tongue, which was awkward, and then he just smiled and laughed, and we hugged, and I was like, thank you for being you, and he thought that was adorable. Then I met Andrew Bizanti, who I watched on You Now a lot, and he called me cute, and I thought that that made my whole day. After me and Brayden, I felt really emotional, and that I met Dakota Went, which I didn't really know a lot about him. But when I met Dakota, it was cool. I asked him about his tattoo. He said it didn't hurt. And then me and him talked a little bit about other stuff. And it was fun. And it was just cool. The last person I met there was Patty Walters. Now, he, I'm not a, like as crazy about him as my big sister is. But I love his, some of his songs. And when I met him, it was awkward. Because I hugged him first a little bit took the picture and the picture of my face is really red because I got sunburned and did not realize it till after the fact like meeting all these people because they're so awesome a lot of them have impacted my life like Brayden that's a time I will never forget because 
him and my big sister and Jason V when I impacted my life so much. From when I was getting bullied on Yik Yak to even now, they're the ones I turned to and I was like, wow, I can't believe I met him. After Warp Tour, I like, my, I waited for my sister to go to bed, I just like bawled my eyes out because I was so happy but yet sad. I was sad because I had to leave and probably never meet Brayden again, but I'm hoping I do and then I can tell him he's rad and impacted my life so much. I won't be as shy. And I was happy because I got to meet all the work for you should. Um, so I'm gonna stop the video here. At the end, I'm going to have a little, you'll see it, but it's gonna be a little slideshow I make of all the pictures, and they're gonna be cool. And you get to see me with them, and if you have any comments, you can put them in the comments below. Give me a big thumbs up. And stay strong, stay red, stay beautiful, and stay you. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. I might have a special guest. I might not. We'll have to see. So, yeah. See you guys later.